Well, hello, it's Miss Tina. And Marty Martian Monster is a little bit tuckered today. Yeah, we're taking it easy. We're at the Dallas-Fort Worth airport today and we have missed the flight. Seems that a plane had mechanical errors, not errors, but issues. Was sitting on tarmac, our plane had to come in and wait on that plane and then it caused a chain reaction today. And many people are sitting here at the airport, miss their planes, and I'm one of them. I was sent to two different terminals by employees of this airport in Dallas, Fort Worth. I flew American Airlines, and we were stranded out there on the tarmac, awaiting information of where to park our plane. So when we finally did, and I went to two wrong uh, gates, it left me very little time to catch my plane. And by the time I arrived, my plane had already left before the ticket time on my ticket. And there was no all call calling me or making sure I was alive and got on that plane. But I just heard an all call for London. So if I was going to London, they'd care if I was on that plane. But I didn't go to London. So anyway, I'll get home. I've got another ticket, but while I'm hanging out at the airport, I thought I would do a story. And this is called Chasing Our Dreams, How to Add More Daring to Your Doing. It's written by Kobe Yamada, illustrated by Charles Santosa. So anyway, I'm not the only one in this boat. So we're gonna make do, just like Dr. Seuss said. When things go wrong, you just have to get over it and find a new plan. What do you dream of and how are you going after it? Oh, and by the way, tomorrow is September 11th and there is an awesome um, events going on all over the U.S. and one in particular big event is going on in Dallas, not Dallas, I am in Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth, um, in Washington State. They're having a mass a food packing for the homeless and they've started this grassroots effort in a lot of places all over the country and they're going to feed uh, the homeless tomorrow in honor of something nice for 9-11 Memorial Day or the, you know to remember those who lost loved ones in that terrible event so I'm in an airport flying on September 11th tomorrow because I missed my plane. So I'm not real happy about that, the date and the timing. And so I'm going to make the best of it and then we'll read your story. There goes some workers. So the difference between who we are, I'll let Marty sleep. See if I can get you in on the book can't really see the planes anymore. There was a beautiful sunset tonight. It's beautiful. Lip sky orange tonight. It's a beautiful day. It was nice and sunny and bright. What do you dream of? What do you dream of? Do you have dreams? And how are you going after it? We'll prop you right there. I know, we got a ceiling and sign things I ate there that was pretty good the difference between who we are and who we want to be is what we do when we reach for a dream it reaches back for us our dreams reflect who we are just pretend like I'm a radio and this is a fireside chat we're just gonna read and listen our dreams reflect what we are capable of and what we have within us, dreams create opportunities, stretch horizons, and give us a glimpse into our vast potential. Dreams ask us to be brave, to risk failure, and to push beyond our limitations. They give us a chance to build a life we love. Can you think what that noise is? It's a community helper. They're pushing the garbage, it's the garbage man and give us a glimpse into our vast potential. Dreams ask us to be brave and to risk failure. 
and to push beyond our limitations. And they give us a chance to build a life we love, to fight for what we want, and to chase all we hope for. I turn my page. Chasing Dreams, How to Add More Daring to Your Doing, written by Kobe Yamada, illustrated by Charles Santosa. I told you that, but I thought I'd tell you again. No one is gonna hand your dreams to you. You must work for what you want. When you strive earnestly, when you work hard, and consistently for a dream, you become the person capable of reaching it. Just look at Paul Zerden with AGT. He thought as a little boy that he wanted to do magic. And then he tried his hand, literally puppet's hand, uh, pun intended, his hand at puppetry and ventriloquism. And look where that got him. He's touring the world. The harder you work, the closer you get. Grab firmly to your dreams and hold tight. There is joy in giving your best to worthy pursuits. How you achieve your dream is how you live your life intentionally day by day. You can create what you want. Your dreams are counting on you. Your future is asking you to believe, to be brave, to make it happen. The most important part of realizing a dream will always be the dreamer. I'll show you the picture. He's making a little paper airplane. A little raccoon with a paper airplane. Wee! I think that's kind of appropriate. I'm at the airport. He's got a paper airplane. There you go. <laughs> what the day brings depends on what you bring to the day. Opportunity arrives with each moment. Like today, I've met all kinds of new people. Had I not been stranded in a similar situation, I may not have met some of the people I met today. Same people, same struggle. You know, we're all the same. We're just people, humans. Just trying to get on a plane. <laughs> When you open your heart to a dream, love, hope, and excitement rush in. I like this picture. It's those things floating down. Marty's still snoozing. Glad he doesn't snore. Don't just discover your talents. Make something incredible with them. Make something incredible with your talents. Choose your life. Don't settle for it. You will regret what you didn't do much more than what you did. That is so true. I would have pictures of me and Ty Pennington on Extreme Home Makeover had I not left my camera in the car. I regret that decision. <laughs> Pennington is very creative and awesome. Choose your life. Don't settle for it. You will regret what you didn't do much more than what you did. And look at all these signs and choices. Makes it even harder because there are no words on them. You go right, you go left, you make a choice. Never choice has a consequence. Spend your energy wisely. Fill your time with things that fill your heart. Breathe deeply into the possibilities of your life. Look, he's got a lot of time on his hands. Do you know how I know? How many paper planes did you build today? <laughs> Do you want to be an engineer? design planes. Maybe he does. Maybe he wants to fly a plane. Do more of what sparks your fire in you. 
having something to strive for, brings its own kind of joy and energy. Oh, look, he's got a whole stack of books. He's gonna learn something. Yeah, he will. Put your work behind your good intentions. Keep your promises you made to yourself. Those are the important ones. show you the picture. Turn it around for you. Mm -hmm. Sorry that the camera is moving around so much. I forgot my tripod and I really have nowhere to prop it. Well, maybe I could have propped it over there, but then you'd be way far away and you wouldn't be able to hear me. It is important to attempt to do things you are not able to do. Don't worry about being perfect. Focus on growing, learning, and discovering. When you strive to be better, everything around you becomes better too. They're playing ball. Practice, practice, practice. Oh, my son used to throw the ball up for hours and throw it into the pitch back and it bounced back to him and throw the ball up and hit it with the baseball bat. He practiced for hours and hours. Whatever you have a passion for, just do it with all your gusto. Be willing to make mistakes, to mess up, to be disappointed. Finding what's wrong can lead to discovering what's right. Look how many he messed up. Look at that pile of paper wads. I see a game of garbage can basketball coming on. Doubts can come from anywhere, but the most harmful ones are the ones that come from you. So don't doubt yourself. You wouldn't have a dream within you if it wasn't possible. Don't get discouraged. Don't give up. Fear can make things seem different than what they are. Worry can give a small thing a big shadow. Look at that shadow. Ooh. It's making that big shadow. Ah, it's a plant. He's afraid of a plant. Look, it looks like a monster. But is it a monster? No. 